there's a part of this conversation where we'll be talking about where this country goes off from here. That's right. Uh, because that's important too. Yeah. What legacy should your generation should be leaving for the next generation looking into the future and the very things that ought to be done? I think but, it's... But, but yes, I, I'll be asking you that. But the question I want to ask you right now is when you... I don't, I'm not sure, I don't know if you heard about it. When you hear the recent cry of Justice Jones Duce, that um, judges are worried about a possible repeat of what happened in 82 yeah. because they feel they have been attacked and that it's uh, becoming problematic. What comes to mind? What's, what surprised me was the, the one who really attacked the judges. And that's uh, former President Mahama, who I know very well, a good friend of mine. And I was surprised because he's been president before. Yeah. He's occupied the highest seat in government. And th therefore, you know what it takes to support the judiciary. Mm -hmm. and, and so for him to come out and say the kinds of things that he said, I find it was a downer. It was disappointing. And you don't need to do that. Whatever the shortcomings, I'm not saying the judges are perfect. They are not perfect. All of us are not perfect. Um, we, the leaders, are the ones to provide the maximum support. And having been in the seat as chief executive of state and the first gentleman of the land, I think he should be the last person to be running down a critical institution like the judiciary. You understand? So I was really surprised and disappointed that he would make the kind of call that he made. And it was so frontal to even say that you need to replace the chief justice and that kind yeah. of thing. Well, I hope it was in the heat of political talk, which sometimes we politicians do, which I don't really subscribe to because okay. politics is a serious matter. And running the lives of 35 million people projected to be, say, 40 in the next 10 years is a serious matter. And we should stop joking with it. Every comment that we make as political leaders has to be measured, especially to infuse confidence and inspiration for the younger generation. They are looking on to us. And so that's why I've always advocated against the insults that are dominating the media space. And even sometimes from you, the journalists. You oh, have, I see. Yes, yeah, so if you have journalists <laughs> sit on national radio and television and use unprintable words against political opponents, even chiefs and all that, it is not good. You, are the, fourth, is this the, you are the fourth estate of the realm. I get your point. Yeah, so we have to be careful. <laughs>